Let's all joyfully rise and sing the hymn. I sing a song, hymn number A89, page 41. I sing a song to you, Lord, a song of love and praise. Of glory be to you, Lord, through everlasting days. Holy, 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 mighty Lord and God, He who was and is now, and who is to come. My dear friends, let us offer this Mass for the eternal repose for of our Bishop Emeritus, Raul Nicolau Gonsalves. God gave him a lifespan of 95 years. And through him, God has taken care of his sheep. As we thank and praise God for the gift of his life, for sending him to us to be our shepherd, and also praying that God may have mercy on him and bless him with his eternal bliss. Let us also pray in this Mass, especially for the priests. We have around 43 diocesan priests who have begun their retreat yesterday. Let us pray for them. And also let us pray for the sick, for the healing of the sick. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, God is kind and he is compassion. That is what today's liturgy invites us to reflect upon. Though our sins are like scarlet, are red as and crimson, God forgives us, for he loves us and gives us always a second chance to change. Not only he is a spiritual healer, but also he blesses us with physical healing. As we ask for his grace, let us also pray that God may touch all those who are sick with his healing. And for the times we have not sufficiently trusted in him, for the times we have failed to call out in our distress, let us ask for his pardon. All together, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Bring to mind your intention. O God, who willed that our infirmities be borne by your only begotten Son to show the value of human suffering, 
listen in kindness to our prayers for our brothers and sisters who are sick. Grant that all who are oppressed by pain, distress, or other afflictions may know that they are chosen among those proclaimed blessed and are united to Christ in his suffering for the salvation of the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will allure her and bring her into the wilderness and speak tenderly to her. And there she shall answer as in the days of her youth, as at the time when she came out of the land of Egypt. And in that day declares the Lord, you will call me my husband, and no longer will you call me my Baal. And I will betroth you to me forever. I will betroth you to me in righteousness and in justice, in steadfast love and in mercy. I will betroth you to me in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm is, the Lord is kind and full of compassion. Please repeat. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever and ever. The Lord is great and highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. Response. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. Age to age shall proclaim your works, shall declare your mighty deeds. They will tell of your great glory and splendor and recount your wonderful works. Response? The Lord, the Lord is kind and full of compassion. They will speak of your awesome deeds, recount your greatness and might. They will recall your abundant goodness and sing of your just deeds with joy. Response? The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in mercy. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. Response? The Lord is kind and full of compassion. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Christ Jesus abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, while Jesus was speaking, behold, a ruler came in and knelt before him, saying, My daughter has just died. But come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. And Jesus rose and followed him with his disciples. 
and behold a woman who had suffered from a discharge of blood for 12 years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment for she said to herself if i only touch his garment i will be made well jesus turned and seeing her he said take heart daughter your faith has made you well and instantly the woman was made well and when jesus came to the ruler's house and saw the flute players and the crowd making a commotion he said go away for the girl is not dead but sleeping and they laughed at him but when the crowd had been put outside he went in and took her by the hand and the girl arose and the report of this went through all that district the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear friends the lord is kind and full of compassion he is slow to anger that is what we have heard in the response today and truly if we see in the history of salvation how god has been so merciful and kind towards us the sinful humanity ezekiel chapter 18 verse 23 tells us that god does not intend the death of a sinner god does not take pleasure in in the sinner i mean in the in our sins but he wants us to repent and become new persons and therefore after adam and eve committed the first sin god did not did not give up he promised a savior and down the history of salvation we see so many times the chosen race people of israel go against god many times they fail to follow the commandments they say yes i will follow and then they turn towards other gods they become unfaithful servants and yet you see how god is showing them mercy in today's first reading we have heard god once again renewing the covenant with the people of israel we are told that in their younger days when they were youth that means after the deliverance from uh, the egyptian pharaoh as they were traveling in the wilderness how much they were loving god though sometimes they used to doubt his presence but now god says i don't see that love now when you were used to show that love when you were young when you were brought out from the misery from the land of egypt but yet i will betroth you in steadfast love i will betroth you in trust henceforth you will remain with me i will be your husband you will be my wife so in similar terms god renews his covenant with sinful humanity because he is kind and he is compassion he forgives all our trespasses so this is the his spiritual healing that we receive because of god's kindness and because of his compassionate love this compassionate face of god is seen in the gospel today how jesus performs these miracles and heals the wounded first we have the lady who suffered for 12 years 12 years she has gone through a lot and she has only that desire if i touch the fringe of his garment i will be healed this deep desire to be healed stops jesus on the way 
forces, you know, drives this lady to move forward to approach Jesus in her helplessness, in her hopelessness in life, which no other person can do. The only hope now is Jesus. And she daringly goes and touches him. And we see that healing from the Lord flows to this lady. She prays for herself and she is healed. When we gather up courage, when we stand up in our different types of sicknesses and infirmities and have this strong desire to touch him, God heals us, Jesus heals us. We have, see, we have so many examples where Jesus stops. Every time a genuine prayer goes from our, our heart, Jesus stops. Now this prayer of the lady had gone from her heart. She did not voice it out. And yet we see the healing taking place. When Zacchaeus climbed the tree, he only had the desire, but the desire was so strong that Jesus, Jesus did not proceed without listening to that desire. Desire to look at Jesus, to see Jesus. Jesus stops there. Tomorrow we'll be uh, listening to the two blind men calling out to Jesus. Jesus stops. So every time when a prayer goes out from our heart, Jesus stops to listen. And not only to listen, to answer our prayers, because he is kind and compassionate. The, uh, the ruler, the official, had come there to ask Jesus to come to his house because his daughter was not well. He wants to pray for somebody else, his own family member. And who comes here is not the mother, it's the father. Mothers are involved in, in our lives right from our conception, before that. All our journey mostly is accompanied by our mothers. Though fathers are always there supporting us. But usually it is the mother who knows to drag her feet, to drag her knees before the Lord. But here he, we have a man coming to Jesus. Without being ashamed of people, being so humble, he's, a, he's an official and approaching Jesus. A man coming before the Lord to ask for healing for his daughter. If all our men, husbands, fathers, come to Jesus to drag their knees in prayer, how beautiful and wonderful it would be. So many broken families would be built. So many sick people will be built, healed, because of a husband's prayer, father's prayer, brother's prayer. Praying for others or praying for oneself, that does not matter to Jesus. What matters to Jesus is our faith, the trust we place in him, the hope that we have in him. So when I believe that Jesus can do this for me, Jesus will answer my prayer, and when I trust him and say, I know whatever he does will be the best, then all my anxiety, my worry, undue tension that I take will, be, will disappear. Because when the Lord is at my side, who can be against me? No disease, no suffering, no pain can bring me down in my relationship with my God. Because I know He is God who is compassion, who is love, who is mercy. In this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask once again that Jesus may touch us and heal us and that Jesus may listen to the prayers that we make for others for their healing. For the preparation of the gifts, let us sing the hymn, 
Lift up your hands, hymn number B13, page 71. Lift up your hands and offer to the Lord. Lift up your hands and offer to your God. All that your life may hold of joy and care. Lift up your hands unto the Lord. Lift up your eyes and see the works of God. Lift up your eyes to the glory of the Lord. See all the beauty He has spread for you. Lift up your eyes unto the Lord. Lift up your heart unto the heart of God. Offer your love with His love to a call. Eucharistic to love is gift. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may Lord, the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the, for the praise, praise and, and glory of, of his name, name for, our for our good and, and the good of, of all his holy, his holy church. Since the moments of our life unfold, O God, according to your good pleasure, receive the prayers and sacrificial offerings by which we implore your mercy for our brothers and sisters who are ill, that having been anxious for them in their danger, we may rejoice at their recovery of health. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, world. For, for by your, your cross, cross and, and resurrection, resurrection you, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Joseph Vaz, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into myself. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. 
never permit me to be separated from you amen let us sing the hymn god is good to me hymn number d96 god is good to me oh what love i see jesus as a lamb was slain he delivered me blessed and set me free lord of all he rose again now i live yet not i jesus is alive in me sending the spirit sleep into my heart again god has poured his love on me now i live yet not i jesus is alive in me sending the spirit sleep into my heart again god has poured Let us pray. O God, only support of our human weakness, show the power of your protection over your servants who are sick, that sustained by your merciful help, they may be restored to your holy church in good health. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Let us sing the hymn, Jesus, hymn number M15, page 273. Jesus, You are my salvation Jesus You're my inspiration Jesus You're the treasure of my life Jesus you offer new sight to the blind Healing the crippled the deaf and the mute Cleansing the leper and banishing ills, raising the dead to life. Jesus, you are my salvation. Jesus, you're my inspiration. Jesus, you're the treasure of my life.